Hey guys, welcome back, and today we will be doing Arachnid's Ascent. It is a level 14 mission, and yeah, it's actually one that gives us another dungeon. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Private Cobb, and we go ahead and go through his voice chats. And just to let you all know, this happens at negative 192, negative 1822. It's outside of debt last. It was changed. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, and we have to go talk to Captain and then he is all the way down there he is very far away it's gonna be a long road just go ahead and get there um, so we're just gonna make our way that way we're just gonna speed our way through this where you just hit ancient Nemrak go past it try to stay more on the roads because there's less mobs on the roads a little less dangerous you should be reaching this bridge here. If you reach this bridge, you know you're going the right way. Just, you know, follow the beacon. And we're actually just about here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and talk to the captain. Alrighty, perfect. We talk to the captain. Go through everything. He gives us an empty bucket. Now we have an empty bucket. Now we have to go up and into the mountain. Straight into here. So we have to go right into this cave up here just follow the beacon alrighty we're gonna go ahead and go inside here we are and this whole part disregard all the mobs kill them if you need to obviously but the whole point is just to get up to the top of the mountain just follow the trail up don't worry about this there will be like fire and stuff and spiders that spawn and it's gonna get a bit hectic and crazy but just just keep on going. And I'm just gonna make my way up. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Nice. We're gonna disregard this. Oh. Alrighty, and we reached the jump pad over here. We jump on it. Perfect. I'm gonna head on this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill the spiderling. We go forward. Alright, I'm out of mana, which is very unfortunate. If you're under 6 mana, like I've said before, you aren't able to sprint, and it really sucks. If you have your horse with you, riding it up here would save you so much time. And I, I don't want to use my horse, just, just to show that it's possible and how, how, how to do it. Perfect. So now we once we go in this way, we will be put into this cutscene. It shows that there's like fire coming down from the top and that there's lava rising from the bottom. We just have to go and do the parkour as fast as possible because the because these things fall down real f Oh, nice. I failed. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. Do this parkour. You got to do it in a timely fashion. There we go. Alrighty. And we made it over to the other side. There we go. And we go up into the cave. Go into the cave. Perfect. Now we're here. You don't really have to fight any of these mobs. You just have to come right here and right click this. It gives you a bucket of lava and simply just leave. Alright. Perfect. We left it. We're just going to jump our way back to the captain. There we go. We talk to the captain. We go through all the talking points, and voila, we have completed the mission. Alrighty, and popping over to the wiki, we have the mission Arachnid's Ascent. It is a medium level 14 quest centered around getting into the infested pit dungeon near Mount Wind. So we start by talking to Private Cobb, who has been tasked by the Captain Enduin of getting a bucket of lava to break the infested pit dungeon. However, he requires the player's help to get the bucket, so we talk to Private Cobb, we go over and we talk to Enduin, and he says, hey, the cob sends you that private can't seem to get the bucket of lava here without trouble. I'm sure you're aware that the Nivla woods are flooded with spiders. What well, turns out they come from this nest. It must be stopped. Magic doesn't seem to work against the strong web. The same goes with regular fire. So we thought, why not just use lava? Look, that's our best bet right now. If we can kill the queen, we can control the population. Matt Wynn has considered too dangerous to try to enter, but if Cobb sent you to try it out yourself and you think you can do it, go ahead. So I've got a mission for you soldiers.
soldier, head to the top of Mount Wind, the nearby volcano, and return with lava. Don't worry, it's been dormant for hundreds of years. Now take this bucket and get moving. Perfect, so we go into Mount Wind and we collect the lava. As we progress through the cave, we have to kill things. We have to avoid the lava. And we eventually get it, we bring it back to him, he's like, perfect, now give me that bucket, seems like you've got a real knack for spider killing, would you be willing to tackle the queen? I'll keep dealing with the rest of the spiders in the forest, and you know what, you see that tunnel behind you, you go straight back to Cobb's position over the lava spring, I'll give you permission to use it, Cobb had permission this whole time, I have no clue why he didn't. Well, what's done is done. Anyway, stand clear. He burns down the lot. The he burns down the webs, and perfect. The mission is completed, and now we finally have the ability to use the dungeon. Um, and not only does it allow us to use the dungeons, but it also opens up the tunnel. At the end of the mission, uh, we get rewarded with 850 experience points, which is very little, mind you. An infested pit key, which is very nice. We get access to the infested pit dungeon which is really really cool and access to the infested pit fast travel so now we can fast travel from debt last to the infested pit so this is our second fast travel method so yeah that is the whole wiki Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching hope you all enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe check out the one after check out the one before and i hope you have a great day Bye bye